So here's a concept I've been thinking about recently, as I've been thinking about our organization scaling. Um, you can just think of it from like a pure economics perspective of what is our ecosystem's capacity to spend? Pure and simple. What is our capacity to spend? You know, we, we have resources at our disposal and every block that's mined, there's, you know, that, that resource um, set that we have kind of ticks up, it increments up, right? And, and we need to figure out how to deploy these resources as productively as possible to get max bang for the buck to grow the ecosystem. Now, what is our, our ecosystem's capacity to spend? Well, realistically, we, we can't even spend a million dollars a month productively right now. And that's why we're, we've been accumulating, that's one of the reasons, the pragmatic reason of why we've been accumulating reserves because we just can't productively spend it. And, and this is me saying productively. And what I mean by productive here is not just you know, finding the right developers, the right projects, but responsibly spend because there's an organizational capacity component here that should not be overlooked. So keep this in mind when you hear about other ecosystems bringing in hundreds of millions of dollars or billion dollars that they want to spend on ZK Tech. Well, guys, this is a very small niche within you know a very small industry in the grand scheme of things. The ability for an organization to be able to productively, responsibly deploy a billion dollars or hundreds of millions of dollars truly doesn't exist right now. I, I will argue that it doesn't exist. And there's diminishing marginal returns to scale in this, this just kind of org capacity perspective of the more money you get doesn't mean that you're going to be able to effectively deploy it. And realistically, the, you know, the, the most important projects are the ones you're going to fund up front if you're you know, rationally funding projects, right? However you decide to, to rank order them. And then on the margin, as you scale out there, as you spend more money, it gets harder to, number one, find high quality projects that actually make sense um, to invest in. And then even you know have the capacity on your own team to screen, to monitor, to make sure that you have successful you know uh, um, deployment of capital and successful post post delivery operations going on. There's a lot here, so I'm not I'm not trying to belabor this point. But the bottom line is, as an organization, we need to probably realistically 10x our ability to spend. And again, not wastefully spend. Sure, we can write a check. We can, you know, send a, a bunch of Zen or you know, a stable coin to anyone in the world. That doesn't mean that it's a it's a productive, responsible use of funds. We are looking for max bang for the buck because in this big industry right now, the way things stand, until Zen's five hundred or a thousand or two thousand dollars, we are an underdog in this industry. Just given our resource, you know, uh, our resource bundle and also given the maturity of our platform rolling it out there while others are already you know knee deep in operations and attracting you know multiple projects every day into their ecosystems we still need to deliver our core fundamental platform to the market and then do a whole bunch with it right so we need to be very judicious about how we deploy resources and right now the org capacity element is where we're also focusing on our team building because it, it involves having a core group, like a core group, like our ecosystem growth team that can actually, you know, effectively you know, build a funnel, screen from the funnel, um, work in coordination with the VCs that we partner with, right? And then do the monitoring, all, all the other stuff that's required once you give someone money to make sure that they actually use that money um, responsibly and effectively, right? We, we need to build out this team and focus on our org capacity. Org capacity also means the partnerships that we have. So this is like a big kudos to Dean and Casper's and, and the team that's been working on bringing in other VCs into our ecosystem. And we haven't made a formal announcement yet of who's coming in, but we have a very interesting list of VCs that are committing resources into the ecosystem. And building this partner set is really a key element of our org capacity story. We also need to set up a formal grant program for say like non-entrepreneurial things. Maybe someone doesn't have a business they want to do, but maybe they want to explore, you know, dandelion, some sort of uh, uh, or some sort of other like R and D project, or maybe there's a different component of you know ZK Tech that they want to take in a different direction. Well, we ought to have grant programs for things like that, right? That just have nothing to do with business um, business elements. Right. So we're we're doing all of this stuff simultaneously in the background. I really wanted to give you guys just a an insider perspective of what's going on and really where we're focusing efforts right now. Um, so final note, it sure does look like we're behind. Right, the, the rest of the industry, and, and not by rest of the industry, because we, we are, uh, you know, we, we really are one of the top projects in the industry. And I'm not just talking from a market cap perspective, but the sophistication of what we're delivering, strategic vision, partnerships being supported by DCG, you name it, right? Having VC funded, um, you know, uh, software company within our ecosystems, and 
you know, so you can look at that and say the product maturity or technology maturity, we're behind. And we're behind from an ecosystem perspective, for sure, we're behind. Whereas other, other ecosystems have hundreds or thousands of people building within them, we don't yet have that. But again, don't let the anxiety, um, you know, overwhelm you. Again, like I said, every day going through my crypto panic feed, it, it sure does give me, I, I would say a healthy amount of anxiety to feel a really like aggressive, man, I can't wait to, you know, I love being in this fight and I love being able to, you know, plot our strategy to rapidly catch up on a number of areas. But really our, our real org capacity to productively spend is phenomenal given the scope of where we're, given the maturity of where we are. And I think we have an amazing plan to expand that capacity so that by the time we get our technology, our platform to market, and we have useful tool or tools that make it easier to build with our SDKs, we will be, we will be able to scale and we will be able to scale fast. So we are thinking very strategic about all of this. And really, we're not all that far behind from some dimensions. And in other dimensions, you know, we need to just, again, Productive anxiety. We need to catch up. We need to be really aggressive with everything we do, and we need to be judicious with how we do things. Because right now we are operating in an environment where we have less resources than other people, and just from the the technology perspective, we have a bunch of deliveries that we need to make sure are very successful, timely, and have big impact. So we're not just delivering code. We're also having a big impact because people are using that code and actually launching real projects to solve real problems in the world for which people somewhere out there are willing to pay actual money for, right? And by actual money, I mean Zen. So anyway, guys, I'll stop here. And uh, I know it's uh, a bunch to take in, but this is an extremely exciting time for the project because this is that inflection point. And we are prepping for that inflection point, And I think we are very much on the right path.